So good morning sa shunistas and photogs. This is an unboxing review for the Godox V1 for Canon. So it has standard beautifully packaged box. Very familiar with the white and orange trimming. First out of the box will be the power outlet that takes the USB port. Very forward thinking and future proof. Very convenient because can charge from any USB device including your car and your PC. Godox VB26 lithium ion battery. This is DC powered with 7.2 volts. So the instruction manual and the QA badge. Man, who reads them nowadays? Charger, nice and simple. Must be the LED indicator for the red and green. Uh, so here's the pouch and the standard speed light stand mount. Now, this is the light itself. Very light but feels very substantial. It's nicely built. The buttons are a bit flimsy but they can definitely improve. So that's the initial preview of what's inside the box. Now let's begin with the testings. Say goodbye to those messy double A batteries and chunky chargers. Let's insert the battery. Once you turn on the unit, it has a nice cool LCD display. So it supports manual, ETTL, and multi-flash functions. It also supports high-speed sync and rare curtain sync. Now, this is a cool feature. The flash LCD lights changes color from cool blue to warm orange depending when you change the flash from master to slave. Blue indicates master and orange indicates slave. Now, another cool feature is you can use the X-Pro C4 Canon to trigger the V1 flash when shooting off the camera. Now, lastly, the V1 C4 Canon can also function same as the X-Pro C. You can use the V1 C to trigger other Godox flashes such as the AD200, 400, and 600 models. How convenient is that? It's an amazing equipment. It's a monster. Another milestone for Godox. Although, yeah, I do have, I promise you I'm going to create an AKR1 um, accessories video. All fits in this one packet. So it definitely needs a separate video. Guys, please smash that like button. Let me know that you want me to create an AKR1 video for you guys for this. So let me go straight to the question and answer you guys directly. Do I recommend this to photographers? Yes and no. <laughs> Why yes and no? Um, yes, because first of all, if you are tired of carrying a lot of batteries, double A batteries, you know, it's the way to go. Lithium batteries and it's just one and you can also charge it in the car, charge it anywhere, you know, while waiting during the event, you know, carry one of those two bo two bad boys and you're set. You know, you can, you know, you can really affordable battery. Number two, for those who haven't bought their um, speed lights, this is a way to go to start with. I mean, you can always start with the native original speed light that your brand carries but this one is also good enough if you are looking for the price point this is another um, it's not cheap but it's not too expensive for the functionalities that it has and also the convenience that you have you can use your pro c your x pro c to trigger it and it can also function as a trigger for other Godox brands that you may have because now what they're doing is they do, they they're having this universal Godox products all together intertwined so that's another another reason why this is a good product for you guys I covered all five number one is the convenience of the battery number two the if you haven't bought anything a, a, a speed light yet if you're thinking to buy a speed light this is a speed light to go number two because of the accessories number three because of the price point and number five it's also because of the leniency to other 
Godox brand. So why do I have a reservation? In conclusion, um, if I'm going to, because I'm so used to heavy equipments already, I am a professional photographer and I shoot a lot outdoors. I shoot a lot on location. I need something that is really reliable. I need something that is fast, full of wattage. You know, this is not the flash that I can use by itself. You know, I would still stick for my 400 and my 600 to go out there. You know, because I need something more powerful and I need something that is quick on the recycling times. Other than that, I have no complaints whatsoever. It's just that the recycling time for me didn't, you know, made that. So we ended up shooting available light because when we were shooting there is especially when you're working with a model like Anastasia it has that rhythm it has that flow we need to create that rapport so that momentum will go through all the shoot because uh, you know you you minimum you will shoot 10 frames you know you can go to 20 but if that momentum you know is slowing down 1.5 seconds is like forever for us so definitely definitely you would need to have a faster more reliable uh, recycling time when you're shooting especially in my case i am very demanding when it comes to equipment so there you have it if you are new to my channel please please subscribe please hit that like button and please comment let us know if you want us to do another um, presentation for the AKR1. I enjoy doing this for you guys. So please let me know. Show, you, show me your love by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel. So there you have it. Thank you very much for having me. More power to you and have a great week. Cheers.